Uh, just allow yourself to relax wherever you're sitting or lying down. Just begin to feel your body unwind and allow yourself to sink down into the earth. Feeling relaxed and at ease. We spend so little time relaxing. It just feels good to allow your eyes to close and just be. Breathing in and as you breathe out, letting go. Sinking down to the ground. Can even feel a warm wave of relaxation starting at the top of your head, moving down your face and your jaw, back of your neck, down your shoulders, feeling them drop toward the floor, and your arms getting heavy. Your hands relaxing. With each breath in and out, relaxing a little more. Feeling your torso sinking, your legs and feet totally and completely relaxed. And allow that warm wave of relaxation to continue past your body, down your grounding cord and all the way into the center of the earth, where you are connected and rooted to our planet. That crystal core, the center of the earth, pulsing with earth light. Feeling the light of the earth rising up your grounding cord now. Sinking your energy to the planet so that you're vibrating at the same pace as the deep earthly energies. Feeling that earth light rise up to your body. Filling up all of the cells in your body. Healing and renewing them. Even allowing your flesh and bones to sink into the surface of the earth, leaving behind a crystal shell so they can be renewed and healed while you are on your journey. Feeling now your spirit body extending out above your head, realizing that you are connected to a distant star, rising up to greet that star, feeling the starlight raining back down into your body, mixing with the earth light, and all the way back to the center of the earth. This is your spirit body, surrounded in a vibrant shell of gold, stretching from the earth to the heavens. But you see it now as your own personal bridge. 
And as you look around the cosmos, you realize that all other beings are threads like you. And together we are making an enormous web of life that pulses and vibrates together. Feeling that earth light and starlight mixing within you. And this time, allow yourself to just gently ride that light up over the earth. Looking down, seeing the fragile earth below. But feeling now the earth dissolve away. You are entering into a space that is filled with light. The sublunar realm. the location of angels and divas and the celestial guardians of our planet. Maybe you see it as a lush garden, maybe even a temple space with columns. However you see it, you realize that before you is a gathering space. You can sense the wise ones gathering here. And you are feeling a sense of joy and wonder at being among them. And as you watch, notice one of these spiritual beings coming toward you. As a being, notice what they look like, what they might be wearing or not. Feels so familiar. This being introduces themselves as a teacher. a teacher for you and for others on this planet. Takes you a moment to allow that to sink in, that you have your very own teacher, a guiding spirit. who was there for you to answer any question whenever you have need.
Now your teacher indicates to you to walk to the edge of the gathering space and take a seat by their side. Your teacher reaches out and takes your hands. And asks if there's anything on your mind or any questions you've wanted to ask and didn't know where to ask them. And allow your heart to speak. And your teacher to receive your question and answer it. It's okay if the answer comes in a symbol or a sound, just a word. Because you know that with this connection, Your teacher is planting seeds that start a process within you. So the answers will unfold and grow within you over time. And with that, as you look into your teacher's eyes, you understand the difference between spiritual teaching and the kind you've grown up with on earth. On earth, teaching is something to be had, possessed. But spiritual wisdom grows. It grows from within and touches all parts of you. You can't force it. You can only allow. And with that realization, your teacher's eyes brighten and they, they nod. You look around at the gathering place now and see the spirits of so many represented here. As if to sense your unspoken question, your teacher says, yes, we are all here for you. Come back and speak to anyone. For we are all facets of the divine. Looking back at your teacher now, you feel a little torn. You want to stay. And yet, 
the tug of earth gently pulls at you. Because you know there's work left to be done on the earth plane. Your teacher says, you are welcome back anytime. Before you go to bed, before you get up in the morning, in moments in between. Your teacher will never leave you and will always have time for you. So even when you turn your awareness back to the earth plane, there's that silver thread that leads back to here. So give your teacher a hug and feel your heart's touch. And as you watch, see the light of the gathering space begin to dim and the earth once again emerging below. Falling back down your ground, your sky cord all the way to your crystal shell on the earth. Feeling that connection to the crystal core at the center of the earth and the star the golden shell around them. Knowing you are always connected to spirit because you are spirit. So now it's easy to breathe up your flesh and bones from the earth where they're lighter for feeling renewed and healed. Feeling your feet settle in, your legs, your back and shoulders, your face and head. As you breathe in, feel the air filling up your lungs. And as you breathe out, feeling that relaxation, but also sensing that cord within that connects you to those who guard your desire to learn and grow and are always there to help you tend your garden as you grow. And when you're ready, opening your eyes.